Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Liora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is gonna be a super relaxed in my pyjama shirt. <laughs> Get ready with me where I'm gonna use the Oceanic palette from Ace Brute which looks like this. It's super beautiful, it's one of my absolute favorites and I, you know, because first of all greens and blues are ranking very very high on my favorite colors of eyeshadows to apply but also because it just performs super well and every single look that i've created with this also off camera um is super super nice as far as i'm concerned you know <laughs> so anyway this is what we're gonna do today we're gonna be all relaxed we're gonna be chatty we're gonna try to make this this whole thing work and look good. <laughs> We're also going to use some glitter which I'm going to show you in the video and I hope you enjoy and you know just have some relaxed girlfriend time together. So um, if you want that then please keep on watching. Hi my sweeties. Okay so it is uh, 10 to 5 in the morning. I have to get ready. I've been here already for like 20 minutes and doing my eyebrows and stuff like that and trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do today is I want to do glitter. I have not done glitter for like two weeks or so or maybe even longer. That is not an acceptable situation. So, <laughs> so that's what I want to do. And I'm also going to film something later today for a Rapunzel collaboration and I'm gonna use scarves where there's like turquoise and blue in them, dark blue. So I want to mirror that in my eyeshadow look. Now I'm sort of, it's so funny how you go through the certain phases of, of your likes. Right now I love to match stuff and there was also, there was a phase at the, closer to the beginning of my channel where I just always went opposite and always. So while this one is good and this one is good, it's just so funny how, how we all go through phases in everything in life. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna work with this one. I showed you probably in the intro already. This is the uh, Oceanic palette from Ace Brute. And I want to so badly work with the dark blues. These dark blue swatches like you would not believe. I yesterday swatched all my dark blues because I wanted to see which ones I want to use and this one was the absolute winner. So I want to use this and this and this and just do basically a like a, maybe a half cut crease and then put this on the lid and then put this kind of a glitter on top. I don't know. Wait. Let's see if that comes across. This is from Wow Cosmetics, but of course, if you want to recreate this, you can use whatever you want. This is just the color scheme that I was gonna go for. So I think that's what we're gonna do. As you probably have noticed, I'm wearing my super flattering yellow super size t-shirt where it says masterpiece on it. I love that, I wear that all the time. And I just love to be here and not be polished. I love it so bad. <sighs> and plus, it is still super hot here. I'm filming this middle, what is it now? Almost middle September, so, um, and it is still very hot in Israel, so um, that really, really helps, you know, to not be like super snug and everything. So this is super flowy and nice, and I just love the message. Masterpiece. Girl, you're a masterpiece, as are all of you. Get yourself a t-shirt like this. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna take, I think, the E44 from Sigma, and I just... Uh, Anyway, yeah, I just dipped into this color and I just saw the color payoff on the brush and I'm just oh, in love. Anyway, so let's just try to... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out these brushes. So I'm just gonna sort of run this through the crease, but not sweeping, but circling. That's what I'm going for. So this is now the, the second to the darkest. This one say that the second darkest, <laughs> second darkest blue in the palette. And um, yeah, so I only have like one lighter blue that I can use for blending this out. So I have to be a little bit more, you know, it has to be already a little bit blending uh, in order for me to afterwards just blend with one other shade. So that's why I'm applying this already like a little bit um, smudged out maybe <laughs> you have to find your your meaning in what I'm saying because I don't know <laughs> okay um, as, as flattering as this is we cannot leave it this way <laughs> so anyway I'm going to just swipe off that same brush the what was it the E44 and I'm going to take it at the very end and I'm just gonna try to loosely to loosely 
uh, drag this here around the edge in order to see what happens here that this all gets more fluffy you know let's just all be fluffy with our blues okay it's not perfect yet but it doesn't have to be at this stage because first of all I want to put on the lighter blue and that is the one Bali I oh, didn't I even tell you the other shades name that is blue clam this one that we just used and this is Bali and I must say listen <laughs> this palette is unbelievably magical if you don't have it you should absolutely get it like if you like colorful like colorful blues <laughs> <laughs> then this is the palette to go I, and greens I mean really seriously so this is the E33 I'm going to attempt to be like the super youtuber who is always saying the brushes that she uses because I'm I'm just so happy that I have my first Sigma brushes <laughs> this is such a sense of achievement for me that you would not believe you know for someone who has used not even drugstore but below drugstore like bad brushes <laughs> it is really incredible honestly that I did the looks I did I, I it is beyond me there is a difference to good brushes there is absolutely a difference I was very maybe not suspicious but um, I was I, I was waiting I was waiting to see uh, what what is behind this and um, I can't really explain it yet maybe maybe it's also just that once you use Sigma brushes there is like a confidence that comes with using brand brushes I don't know maybe but there is also there is something that 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 is different you know can't really put my put my finger on it or however you say it but um, I really do feel that there is a difference so anyway uh, <laughs> so what I was gonna say was that um, this palette is absolutely phenomenal I have so much love to play with this already and uh, as someone who loves to put on greens and blues and purples, I think those those rank the highest in my personal preferences in, in colors when it comes to eyeshadow colors. Um, so this is obviously like an obvious choice. I'm still a little bit sad that I don't have the, um, the Paradise Bundle from Ace Pute because I, I really, you know, they released it I think last January? And I still don't have it <laughs> because I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm I'm waiting for you know to be able to to afford it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a sale that is worth enough for me to pay the immense amount of shipping and all of that. So and yeah. <laughs> so I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the right time. And I used to have one more palette from Ace Porte, but I can't find it anymore. Sorry, um, that was the quintessential palette, and actually that was my very first eyeshadow palette that I ever had, and that was at age 38 <laughs> when I started my YouTube channel. That was one of yeah, that was my first palette. So that's my life, seriously. Considering how late I got into all this, this is really crazy. I do think at some point, because the quintessential palette is basically a um, a neutral palette with a pop of blue, I decluttered that probably. Maybe I gave it to my girls, but I cannot find it in their makeup stash anywhere. So I don't know what really happened. Um, but I think I decluttered it when I realized how much I love colors. I just thought probably that um, that it's not my thing and I'm not gonna use it but now now that I've discovered this whole thing with like one brand looks that I love to do so badly um, I wish I had that palette you know just just also from a, like a collector perspective I would really really love to have that palette now and I have no idea why I was so hasty to get rid of it Anyway, there was nothing wrong with the palette, just that I thought that now I'm doing colors and I'm never going to do anything else and um, why should I have that palette? So I think that was a bit of a hasty decision, uh, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm going to find it one day. <laughs> I have no idea what happened with it. Okay, while I was off camera, I just quickly set my eyeshadow base um, under my eyebrows. And I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a big, big fluffy brush, which is the E35, E35 from Sigma, and I'm going to go into that shade again, into that Bali shade, and I'm just going to try to fluff it out a little bit more. 
you know there is just one complaint that I have about the Sigma brushes and that is that for example this one is fine when I'm holding it like this in my right hand and I'm looking at it I see everything the right way it says Sigma tapered blending E35 it makes it so much easier to just look down and see the right number and you know if you like want to mention it in a video like I do okay so then there are other brushes for example the E30 E44 when I'm holding it exactly the same way in my right hand, it is upside down. And so I always have to go like, <laughs> you know? So that is annoying. Why is that not consistent? And why is that even a, an issue that, that they are the wrong way? Like for right-handed people, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's not even an issue. It's, it's peanuts, but still, uh, it should be consistent either this way or that way, you know? I'm not even saying it should be all perfect for right-handed people because why shouldn't it be easier for left-handed people but I I don't know I almost feel like it should be consistent you know that's that's the point anyway so yeah so let's just try to blend this out a little bit with this fluffy fluffy brush and then we're gonna start working on the lid okay something like that <laughs> Something like that. I did re-intensify the shades a little bit because when I did uh, use the, the Bali shade, the lightest one, and I used the very fluffy brush, they did blend away a little bit. So I went back in and I re-intensified. It still looks a little bit messy, but that is the glory of putting on your foundation afterwards because it does not matter and that it's, you know, I, I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the E45 from Sigma and I'm gonna go in to this darkest shade right here which is called Lagoon and I want to press that on at the outer V sort of you know like this just sort of <laughs> just sort of re-intensifying the the darkness the depth of the of the whole look just like that going like on an angle a little bit like this and it's more like a dapping motion and I do think that these these shades really perform much much better as actually do most shades I think if you ask me they all I think um, perform better when you just dap them on instead of sweeping them on I don't know if there's anyone in the whole world besides neutral shadows of course um, who is still sweeping on eyeshadows I don't know that doesn't make any sense to me because it just it, you know it doesn't work so well so anyway so that's what we're doing and then we're going to put on the shimmer which is called Mykonos which is this one this color seriously this is what I want to have under my glitter actually I could also use Fiji because basically we're not going to see very much of the shimmer um, quality of it but yeah anyway so that's what the plan is and I'm gonna stick with the story <laughs> Okay, so this is the half cut crease, sort of, <laughs> and I, for the first time today, I used the um, cut crease canvas from Revolution Makeup, the white one, which is called Halo, very fitting, and um, just because I was curious, I still want to use up my paint pot because, as I told you like a million times, that um, I just wanted, I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm still going to use that, but hey. This is so much easier because, I mean, the paint pot is so creamy that it is really, really hard. But still, I'm not a wasteful person, so I'm still going to use it till... I just have to do a lot of cut creases in order to get through it all, you know, very quickly. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to put on this, this shade, Mykonos, Mykonos, whatever it's called. In German, I would say Mykonos. Mykonos, that's how it would be called, but... I don't know in any other language so <laughs> anyway so let's just spray the brush and I'm going to put that on and as you can see I did not clean my eyelids today uh, usually I would clean my eyelids before I put the um, whatever base I use for the cut crease and I didn't do that today so that's why it is already blue it's sort of stained but yeah it doesn't matter because we're working in the same color scheme so I figured I can save myself that step and again I'm just using a brush that is absolutely unsuitable because that's what I do <laughs> I just want to have the precise application for the cut crease and then later I'll go in either with my finger if I have to or with a different brush a packing brush 
in order to get more intensity but you know what honestly um, maybe we don't even need to do this in this case because um, we're gonna put glitter on top right so so we'll see I, I might not even you know do that okay so this is how it looks now and now I'm gonna go in with the NYX glitter glue and I'm going to take a packing brush and I'll just apply it directly to the brush and then <laughs> And then I'm gonna dab this on the the shimmer basically okay now I just poured myself some of the glitter here in the little lid of the tub and I'm gonna go in with a packing brush and just press on the glitter onto the eyelid <laughs> Okay, sweeties, this is how it looks now with the glitter on, and I think it is really, really pretty. The, the colors, both of those colors obviously work super well together. It's sort of that kind of mermaid vibe that I get, and I really, really like it. Here is like a tiny little spot where the product has lifted off when I when I applied the glitter glue on top of it, so I have, still have to fix that, and I'm going to do eyeliner and foundation and all of that, and then I'm going to come back and redo the lower lash line. Okay, this is how it looks now and I'm <laughs> I'm always starting to love the looks, you know, a little bit into the looks, like when when maybe an hour of blending has passed. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm starting to like it. Okay, so this is how it looks. I really do like it and now we still have to do the lower lash line. Of course you see uh, white spots again. That's always what we do here. I cannot wait for the lash glue to try to like uh, to dry <laughs> uh, till I continue filming because I don't have the luxury of time. So what are we going to do? Are we going to keep it blue? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe we should. Maybe we should keep it more or less like monochromatic kind of a thing. So let's just do that. Let's get a brush and let's do the blue clam that is basically the main feature of the look and just draw that around the like under the lashes and oh by the way I did put a very light green eyeliner pencil this one is from Pupa it's the number 59 um, on my waterline and now I'm just gonna try to not miss mess up my look wait this has creased again yay <laughs> oh, girls I'm not getting younger okay so this to get rid of this there's also some glitter floating around but okay so we're just gonna put this very very tightly under the green or below the green something like that And I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take that very light blue, well, it was not very light, the lightest blue that we have here that is a matte, the shade Bali, and let's just try to blend this out. Which one I'm using? Let me just find the right brush for this. Let's just take this one, it really doesn't matter. This is not really for like for that light blue to show up. It's really just for blending out the dark, the darker blue. I don't know if that makes a difference for you. <laughs> for me, it makes a difference um, because th this is really just like I could even use a I don't know a setting powder or something like this for for blending this out. It's just I don't want the the light blue to appear too much. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you're making any sense of what I'm saying. Anyway, so I think this is how it's gonna look. And then for the inner corner, what are we gonna do for the inner corner? I almost feel like I wanna go for, I would have loved to go for this, but I think, I think I'm gonna go more traditional and just use a yellow. And you know what, when I want a yellow, then I usually go to my, Makeup Addiction, is it Makeup Addiction? Yeah, this one, this palette. It's the Holy Glow Fantasy palette and I use the, the yellow, obviously. <laughs> okay, so these shadows are beyond belief. Like, you have to be really careful because they're super, super pigmented. Now, I'm just gonna take this um, without spraying the, the brush 
because I don't want it to be super super in your face I don't want it to take away from um, the other look you know sometimes you can create a look all around an inner corner highlight where that is actually where all the attention is and where all the focus goes but I don't want that because I want the the main attention to be on the glitter and on the blues so this is really just a side dish you know what I mean okay so that's why I'm putting it just you know gently and not super opaque and I'm gonna just finish off the the eyes I'm finishing off the eyes, finding something for my lips, applying some mascara, and then I'm gonna come back with the finished look. Okay, my sweeties, this is the finished look. How do you like it? <laughs> I actually really do like it, and as I told you, for me, it always takes time to get to this place from having the look in my head the way I want it to be till I'm actually starting to feel the look. For me there is, is like a, um, a canyon of work in between that place of where I have the inspiration and where I want to get and then to do all the work and then I descend in this valley of desperation <laughs> up until I climb out of the valley on the other side and then it actually starts to look good. So what I want to say with that, I want to zoom out, that's what I want to say with that. <laughs> okay, uh, what I want to say with that is I'm sure that I'm not alone in this and I'm sure that a lot of people um, have inspiration and want to do a look or want to recreate a look of whatever your favorite YouTuber is or whatever and then you start doing it because people make it look so easy and, and they do it in like a 20 minute video. Don't fool yourselves sweeties, please don't get discouraged because there is a lot of work that goes be between the clips that are being filmed, you know. Um, being totally honest, I'm filming per look something like 15 clips and in between those clips there is a long time of blending, there is a long time of adjusting, there is a long time of everything. So um, give yourselves time, okay? And if if you're doing a look and there is this valley, valley how do you say that in English? Valley. You know, this, this dip where you think you can't do it, I have to wipe it off, it's horrible, it's not gonna come together. That is normal. Just let's put it out there, it's normal. It's normal to doubt yourself, but the, the good thing is, the godly thing is to go through it, to push through it and to still, you know, try to finish it. So, and worst case, if it doesn't look perfect, then it just doesn't look perfect and you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right? So anyway, I love the look. I hope you enjoyed. I really, really, from all of my heart, recommend this palette. It is a super, super beautiful palette if you like colors, if you like blues and greens. And um, yeah, I wish I would have more from this brand and at some point I will. There's also the Flare palette that is so beautiful. Yeah, so there is at least five more palettes that I want and uh, I'm sure they're working on the next bundle. So. <laughs> I'm far behind schedule. All right, uh, that is that. You find everything else that I used, of course, in the description box. Leave me your comments in the comment section. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you like, you know, chatty, get ready with me's and, and uh, makeup looks, <laughs> because I'm not really doing a lot of like reviewing new stuff because I just don't get a lot of new stuff. So, but if you're here for my kind of content, then please just stick around and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really love that. And besides that, you come back. No, please come back <laughs> next time for my next video, which is going to be super soon. And up until then, hugs and kisses. Bye.